holy plans for you. Jeremiah 1, 4 through 8. This is what God said. Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had holy plans for you. A prophet to the nations, that's what I had in mind for you. But I said, hold it, Master God. Look at me. I don't know anything. I'm only a boy. God told me, don't say I'm only a boy. I'll tell you where to go, and you'll go there. I'll tell you what to say, and you'll say it. Don't be afraid of his soul. I'll be right there, looking after you. God's decree. What seems to be Jeremiah's main objection to his calling as a prophet? Often we might assume that with God, with age comes experience, wisdom, influence, and all the other things that seem essential to make an impact. So why is God undeterred by Jeremiah's youth? God is ultimately in charge of Jeremiah's mission. His words, his determination, his destination, and his reception. Although you might not be called to be a prophet, are there other callings and tasks in your life that you feel ill-equipped for? What does this passage reveal about the way God works through you and what it is God needs from his chosen people? Come clean to God about your insecurities, whether a lack of experience or some other fundamental flaw. Be open with him about your uncertainty. Ask God for confidence in his calling, not a confidence in your own abilities, but in his holy purposes planned out before you could even know them. Praise him for working through the least of these, which includes you. Don't be afraid of what you lack. Trust that God is with you and that he will not allow his promises and purposes to fail, no matter how small your resume seems.